Before coming to HKS, I worked as a consultant at UNICEF Niger, um, getting involved in rural areas uh, on uh, issues that touches on women and girls. I was looking for a place that would help me take my involvement in Niger to the next level, being able to really um, have systematic and long-term impact in the kind of work that I've been doing. And I've seen that a lot of the Kennedy School um, alumni have done amazing work uh, in their countries and uh, I've met with a few students who told me great things about the Kennedy School and they wanted to be here. So, uh, the faculty here are exceptional, especially in terms of the networks they have access to. Uh, for example, in one of my classes, Management for Nonprofit, we studied a nonprofit called BRAC, which worked in rural areas in Bangladesh and they talked to my professor telling her that I would be interested in learning more about BRAC. Well, she put me in touch with BRAC and I'm on my way to getting my dream internship in Bangladesh this coming summer. They are very accessible, really accessible. They are email, you email a professor and oftentimes right away they will email you back. And also they walk around in the hallways so you can approach them, talk to them. And uh, they are very accessible in that sense. And, very, and, and many of them have more than just one office hours. They're very open. And they actually try to get students to come to their office hours. And I would encourage students to go because you really learn a lot on the professor and also on the fields that you're interested in, which is always great. My non-management class has about 50 people. But I have much smaller classes. Uh, take my e microeconomics class is, is relatively small, about 30 people. Um, and it's really intense discussion going on. It's, it's really great. Um, I'm taking another class called Sparking Social Change. And that class I particularly like because you have different ranges of, of experiences represented in the class. You have students from other Harvard school that come in. So it, 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 it's a great uh, class as well. So the workload is, is manageable, but in between classes and in between um, events, you have what I think are the most, F in, uh, most interesting of, of interactions because then you get to talk to your fellow classmates about say projects you're interested in, 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 in doing in your country or projects they have been working on in their countries and also uh, and, and, and get to see what you can learn from them and also share part of the experience. So the, the workload is not too heavy. It certainly is very challenging, but I think most of the students who come here are looking for that type of challenge. There is so much happening all the time at the Kennedy School that I think there is no one typical day. Every day is special in its own way. Every day is really different. Um, for example, last week on Thursday, I had my non for profit management class where we really got to study how an NGO in, in a, a non-profit in New York was trying to uh, work with uh, children in, in uh, difficult areas. After my non-profit class, I had a class on agricultural policy and, and there I got to really understand why and, and how investment on agriculture um, research has been going down, especially towards African countries, and it's a sector that I want to go into because if you want to work with women in rural areas, agriculture is certainly part of the equation. And uh, in the afternoon, uh, I'm part of the Africa Caucus. I'm actually the co-chair of spe the speaker series. We organized a panel that brought together a former IMF um, senior official who happens to be an HK student. Um, a consultant uh, in, in, a, in a big center in Kenya and also a former senator from Nigeria and they came all together to share um, their experience about what it meant for them to be working in Africa at this particular time, this particular moment in time. <laughs> Don't hesitate. I mean if you're looking for a place to take your, involve, your involvement on the ground to the next level, if you're looking for a place to grow as a leader, and if you're looking for a place to really gain that um, level of global thinking that's required, I think, for any sector, then this is the place to be. I love being at the Kennedy School. I'm thrilled to be here.